Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to this conversation. Um, welcome to the Genii DAO. Well, please let me introduce myself. My name is Karima Akila. A little bit about me. I'm originally from Philadelphia. I am a proud graduate of the best HBCU ever, Morgan State University in Baltimore. I began my career as a public school teacher in Maryland until this guy was born. That's my oldest. And then I became a stay-at-home mom and had all of these people. <laughs> um, we've been homeschooling, unschooling now for about 21, 22 years, something like that. And um, I have four boys and two girls. Um, we started off traditionally homeschooling. I did a really good job of recreating school in my home. And as you can guess, that absolutely did not work for me at all or my kids. Um, who we never got to be was curious and joyful and passionate and engaged. And my kids never got to be trusted that their curiosities were enough. So I said, I, you know, I said I would never do this thing called unschooling, but I, I absolutely couldn't stay where we were. So uh, we began um, unschooling. And since then, you know, um, we got all of that plus more, all of the curiosity, the joy, the passion um, was there for us. In 2016, my husband passed away from leukemia. And then that led me to look at, well, if I have to go back to work, where will I send my kids to continue this way of life? Um, at the time we were living in Pennsylvania and the nearest uh, Sudbury school or agile learning center was an hour north or an hour south. And that just absolutely did not work for me. Um, so that's when I said, well, let's see if I can create a way um, for anyone who believes in decolonizing parenting and um, authentic learning um, and freedom for children, 100% non-compulsory learning. If anyone aligns with that, then let me create a way for them to start uh, their own learning community, their own school. Um, and so that's what we set out to do. And then pandemic. <laughs> But pandemic was a good thing for us in that the thing that I had been screaming into the wilderness, now people were finally coming to understand. So fast forward, um, I actually got remarried. That's my new husband there. And um, we started again to launch our in-person school because we began already doing it virtually. But we kept coming up against this one main problem, which was funding. Um, along with the other four problems that we notice that come along with self-directed learning schools, awareness, accessibility, diversity, documentation, and then funding. So then I said, well, let's see if we can solve this thing. You know, if we keep doing what we've all, always done, we will continue to get what we've always gotten. So I said, well, let's try something a little bit different. And so we created the DAO, the Genii DAO. Now, what on earth is this Genie I Dow? Well, the Genie I Dow is an unschooling lifestyle community brand appreciating, celebrating, and elevating being free to be me in your homes and in community. The word Dow, we're going to get into what that is in a second, but we use Web3 tools and technology in order to create solutions for the edges. You know about solving for the edges, right? It is going to where it absolutely doesn't work and then create a solution for that. So that if we can solve for the edges, then the middle will be taken care of. So that's what we set out to do. So what is a DAO? I'm so glad you asked and you came to the right place. So a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. So what does that mean? I use a lot of words. It means a group of people 
with a shared goal and a shared crypto treasury voting on blockchain to create their own governance with smart contracts. Now I know that's a lot and you might not know what all of that means. Um, we're gonna start today with talking about who we are as a group of people, what our shared goal is and what we've done with crypto. Um, we'll talk more about what voting on blockchain means and creating our own governance with smart contracts if you decide that you want to join us. By the way, I host a talk, um, a teaching, a class on crypto and Web3. It's called Meet Me at the Corner. And that's where I invite folks who are on Unschooling Avenue and folks who are on Web3 Boulevard to literally, let's have a conversation and see what is at the intersection of those two lifestyles. But for today's conversation, we're gonna talk about, well, who are we as a group of people? What is our shared goal? What is a cryptocurrency? And if you find inspiration, how you can join us. So who are we as a group of people? Well, these are our current learning communities. We have our friends, um, Brittany, who is in Prince George's County, Maryland. We have Raven, who is here in Atlanta with me. We have our learners that meet in the metaverse. That's what it looks like. It's a 2D metaverse. You do not need an Oculus. You just need a laptop and an internet connection. Um, then we have Adrian, who is in San Francisco. And then we have Ms. Connie and Ms. Harriet, who are in Kampala, Uganda. They are hosting um, decolonizing parenting, de-schooling, and unschooling conversations and learning community and schools in Kampala, Uganda. That is a, an amazing story. Can't wait to share more uh, with you about them. So this is who we are as a group of people. We are a group of parents, a group of kids, teenagers, facilitators, and directors. And we all have the common goal of decolonizing parenting, de-schooling, and unschooling. Um, we all believe in 100% non-compulsory forced learning. So if that's you, then we're standing shoulder to shoulder with you. So much so that we offer coaching to families, like I said, two times a month to support them because we are 100% uh, convinced that these type of micro schools, self-directed learning, micro schools are only sustainable when we sustain these types of relationships with children at home. So it has to start at home. So that's why we coach families, moms, dads, aunties, uncles, grandma, bring them all to the conversation. And we'll talk about well, what does that mean to offer liberation to children, okay? Now, in addition to that, some of our other shared goals are Web3 tools that we use to solve to the edges for awareness, funding, diversity, accessibility, and documentation. Now, some of those Web3 tools involve blockchain, they involve the metaverse, they involve crypto. So we're gonna get into a little bit about them as we go along. But first of all, why are we even doing this? Well, it's not working. Well, it's been my experience with our Genii DAO schools that they are underfunded. Um, Either the parents don't have the funds to pay for tuition or the founder and directors don't have the funds to secure the building in order to create a sustainable place for children to go. Um, I will tell you that, you know, when I first started, I was a homeschool mom and we were doing co-ops, you know, in our basements, we were doing co-ops in churches. And most times, you know, especially if you meet outside of the home, that can be sustainable. But what didn't work long-term was when we were hosting community in our homes. You know how it goes, I have six kids. When one gets sick, that's about a good four weeks right there that my, that my home <laughs> is not a safe environment for anyone else to come in, right? Because the sickness has to go through the house. So during that time, it's been our lived experience that communities will fizzle and dissipate unless there is a separate building for them to go to. And unless there are other people that are there um, staff that is committed to being there with the learners. All of that requires funding. And I'll also be honest and share with you, I was so passionate about unschooling, so passionate about liberation parenting, so passionate about community that I lacked integrity to go get the one thing that would make the difference in us actually building our schools, which was the funding. Silly, right? Completely silly. 
but that's what so. So what's not working is that K-12 self-directed schools, um, self-directed learning schools are underfunded, causing them to close or not open at all. Now, what is the predictable future if no action is taken? Founders, so just me, and families will continue to be frustrated and kids will not be able to be free to be me in our self-directed learning micro schools. Just last year, I had to turn away a director in tears and a family in tears because the family couldn't afford to pay tuition and the director needed to earn a living wage. So if tuition and funding were the common problem, then that is the thing that has to be solved. And that's what I'm committed to solving. So the way the future could be, well, we're inventing the possibility of self-directed learning school founders and families being whole and complete in tuition funding, allowing kids to be free to be me. That is what I'm after. I don't want to have to tell another family and send them away in tears because they can't afford it. And I refuse to tell another facilitator or director who is ready to commit their time to holding space for our kids that we can't financially support them. That's not gonna happen anymore, not on my watch. So I want you to sit with this possibility. Imagine that, imagine if founders and families of micro self-directed learning schools could be whole and complete. <clears throat> That's the feeling that comes to mind, that that is no longer a worry because it's done, it's finished. There is peace of mind. They are whole and complete in their funding. Families don't have to worry about paying this tuition or paying their electric bill. Founders don't have to worry about, am I going to have to let this facilitator go and then stretch myself too thin so that I can be with the kids in order to cut down costs. Now, one action that we're taking in order to fulfill on that possibility, we're creating a cryptocurrency to fund micro self-directed learning school founders and families. We have created the Be Me token. Now, why Be Me? Like, what does that even mean, Be Me? Well, when I host the Genius Conversation, I ask families, I ask moms, dads, aunties, uncles, I ask the learners, I ask um, public school teachers, what's not working for you right now in your current um, learning environment? Who do you never get to be? Can you guess what the number one answer is? The number one answer from the children to the parents to public school teachers and superintendents is I never get to be free to be me. That's why my shirt says drop out of school, drop into the genie I dial. Because that's what people want the most. They want freedom and the ability to be authentic to who they are. So we said, well, why don't we create a token around what people are valuing the most? their freedom and their authenticity. So in order to cause our token to be successful, we've created the Be Me movement. And we are creating this movement to appreciate, celebrate and elevate the freedom and authenticity of our unschooling lifestyle and to market the Be Me token. And I am personally inviting you and your entire self-directed learning micro school community to join us in the Genie I DAO. Now, you may be asking, okay, <laughs> yes, that possibility absolutely will make a difference for me. And yes, I am inspired by that possibility, but what exactly am I gonna be doing if I bring my parents, my facilitators and all these kids over here and we join this thing called a Genie I DAO? Like I don't even fully understand what a DAO is, I definitely don't understand what you're talking about with crypto. So what exactly are we gonna be doing? I'm so glad you asked. Well, first of all, remember, I'm hosting classes to educate your community on what crypto is, on what Web3, blockchain, all of these different terms, on what they are, right? So one, that's one thing we're gonna do. But then the main thing that I'm inviting you to do is and join us in community engagement and Be Me Token Marketing. Community and marketing, that's the name of the game that causes the token to be successful, which will allow founders and families to be whole and complete and funded. I'll say that again. Community engagement 
and marketing. Those are the two things together that cause the token to be successful, which in turn could allow founders and families to be whole and complete in funding. So now when I say community engagement, what do I mean? Well, number one, participating in our five pillar invitations. And I'll talk to you about what they are in just a second. But join us in the fun of offering. Remember, nothing that we do is compulsory, except for our community meeting that happens once a week. But other than that, everything else is uh, by invitation and completely non-compulsory. So join us in creating these offerings um, to the kids. Secondly, attend um, our or offer our decolonized parenting and de-schooling coaching. Join me in offering that. Um, invite your families to come to that so that they can be shored up in their unschooling lifestyle. Your learners will be invited to join us in the Genii verse. You remember that screen that I showed you? Right there, we have all kinds of corporations that the kids created. The most popular ones are, of course, gaming corporation. I've learned so much <laughs> watching the kids play Roblox and Minecraft. Then, of course, we have the cooking corporation there, which was very popular. Um, book club, art. Um, the kids also at one point made a movie show corporation where they actually created their own movie in Roblox. Uh, participate in the Be Me movement. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, adding, uh, you will be adding the Genii Dow uh, moniker to your to your school name to show that you are a part of this community, um, and you'll be receiving funding from the Be Me token, and then you will also hold an NFT, our builder NFT, in your crypto wallet. Now I'll explain what all of that is, okay? Uh, so if you don't know what that means right now, that's okay. But it's kind of like a badge to show that you are a part of our community. Okay, so what do I mean by the five pillars? Well, the Genii Dow communities are really made up of two things. Um, aside from the coaching that we give to the parents, the children are invited to engage in our invitations and create their own corporations. Invitations, corporations. So these are the invitations. Pillar one invitation is know thyself. Learners are invited to come to a coaching where we simply ask you, who did you get to be today? What did you do that lit you up on the inside as a good experience? Something you actively made happen that you enjoyed, you did well, and you're proud of. What is that for you? Then pillar two invitation is know thy source. Learners are invited to engage in any practice that helps them to maintain their physical, emotional, and social well-being. We are looking for you and your DAO, I'm sorry, you and your micro school community to join the DAO and offer more things to our kids. Pillar three invitation is knowing how to be financially sustainable. Our learners, the younger ones are like, how can I get some Robux? <laughs> the older ones are saying, how can I get a job? Some of the older, older ones are saying, how do I pay my taxes? What is this W2, W9 form? What is that? What do I do with that? So we would love for you to join us in offering more ways to our kids to learn about money, engage with money. Point. Our learners created the utility for their token. We had a whole talk about the history of money and how did we go from trading things to now this thing called gold to now this thing called the US dollar. How did that whole entire thing happen? And they created the utility for their own BME token. What do they wanna to do to receive it? What do they wanna spend it on? I'll give you a hint, Robux. <laughs> I'll give you another hint, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking as a community about how we can do that. And we would love for you to join us. Pillar four invitation is called Know Thy World. Older learners create an autonomous expedition. So that means in your city where you live, the adults will create an itinerary that we would give to the older learners who are about 13 and up. They would research that itinerary, plan their day. Parents will drop them off and in a group, they would travel around and complete the itinerary, almost like a scavenger hunt, right? Then they would come back home and create a documentary about their time, about their expeditions. Younger learners will create a field trip and then they can also document that as well. And then pillar five invitation is know how to serve others with your genius. Now that you know what you're good at, right? How can you then take your gift, take your genius, take that thing that you do well that's innate for you and serve others with it. So these are our five pillar invitations. And if you become a member of the Genii DAO, 
you would join us in creating ways that we can offer these invitations to our kids and your learners can choose to say yes, please, or no, thank you. Now, let's talk about this Beamy movement. The other thing, in addition to helping us um, invite our kids to the five pillar invitations, and I wanna be crystal clear, it is an invitation. And there are some times when the kids have said, yes, please, and they've come. And there's other times when the kids have said, no, thank you. And I was sitting there by myself for 30 minutes <laughs> and it's okay, right? Because that's what we're here to do in service of our learners. Now, the Be Me Movement. Well, this is the other thing that we're inviting you to do if you were to join the Genie I Doubt. The Be Me token is only as successful as the community engagement and marketing. So how do we market? Marketing can be such a big, overwhelming word. I don't believe in that. I believe in having a ton of fun. So number one, we're going to create fun memes that celebrate our freedom the freedom of our unschooling lifestyle. That's right. The Be Me token is a meme token. What does that even mean? What do you mean? <laughs> that simply means that some of these meme tokens have only been successful because of a meme that went viral. So if there was a meme that went viral, someone took the essence of that meme and turned it into a coin, a token that people began to trade. And then the creators of that token, they were able to receive the residuals from that. Well, we're gonna do the same thing, right? We're gonna have a ton of fun celebrating and appreciating and elevating the freedom and authenticity of our unschooling lifestyle. The second thing I'm gonna invite you to do is host the Be Me Stuffy. Now, in order to tell you this part, I gotta, let me introduce you to somebody. Yeah, how are you today? Doing all right? Okay. This is my friend, Doggy. Doggy, put you on this side. This is my friend, Doggy. Doggy is my longest, oldest friend. My pop-pop gave me Doggy back when I was probably like three or four years old. And Doggy has been with me as I was free to be me when I was a little itty bitty. Isn't that right, Doggy? Doggy says, yeah, he's been there from the beginning. And so Doggy here wanted me to tell, what, what's that? Okay, Doggy wanted me to tell you about his, his first cousin here, Be Me Stuffy. We created a Stuffy because Doggy, you know, he's in retirement. Doggy, he didn't like to hear that word. He didn't cover up his ears. But he's in retirement, okay? So he can't travel all around the world. And so he said, well, can you send Be Me Stuffy? And I said, we can do that. So we created a stuffed animal uh, that looks very much like our logo. And we're sending it around to all of our different communities. So Be Me Stuffy went up to Canada first to meet with our friends up there. Yep, who helped to create Be Me Stuffy's logo. Now, it was a little touch and go, doggy. Be Me almost got stuck in customs. I know, don't, don't get too excited. Be Me almost got stuck in customs. It was, we were a little nervous. But Be Me made it through customs. And now Be Me's going to make their way back to the States. And we would love for Be Me to come and visit your learning community. So when Be Me Stuffy comes to you, guess what they're able, guess, guess what we want you to do? You guessed it. We want you to be free to be yourself and then take some pictures and post them. And then remember pillar four invitation, Know Thy World? Yeah, I can't like doggy here. I can't travel up to Canada right now, but Be Me Stuffy can. And then you can take pictures of what is it like where you live? What are the famous monuments where you are? And you can share all of that on socials. Yep, so thank you, doggy. Thank you, yes, I'll be sure to tell them. Why don't you sit back over here? Yes, because you need to, you know, rest your nerves right there. You need a couple updated surgeries. <laughs> um, let's see what's next. Oh, we're also hosting the Golden Beamy Awards. Yes, so we are looking into the world at either social media influencers or famous people. They may be actors or whatnot. And we are asking, we're, look, we're actually nominating them. We're nominating them. Who is free to be me? When you go through your IG, go through your TikTok, whatever it is that you do, YouTube, who do you see being free to be themselves? Now we have these different categories. We have, let's see, gaming, music, film. Um, there's probably some of the comedy. And I think we have like influencer, something like that. Um, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to send them a letter stating that they were nominated. Uh-huh. And then my son 
is going to 3D print Golden Beamy Awards. And then we're going to host a virtual Beamy Awards show. I want to invite Billie Eilish. Yes, y'all know she and her brother were unschooled, right? I want to nominate Billie Eilish and invite her to perform. Yes, what do you think would be possible with that? Mm -hmm. um, then uh, we also are creating Beamy merch. So we invited the kids, you know, create some t-shirts, some sweatshirts. You know, could I give the Stanley Cup a run for its money? You know, all I have right now is this little situation. I know, it's not the Stanley Cup. But what if I put some be me, be free to be me, you know, situation on here? You never know. Uh, you know, it, it could become the next Stanley Cup. I don't know. <laughs> and all of this is to raise awareness. And it raising awareness also allows us to do the marketing for our be me token. And of course, we have all of the hashtags that will accompany all of your posting. But the name of the game is post our be free to be me fun on socials. Now. Remember the images that I showed you of our current communities that we have, right? Maryland, Atlanta, San Francisco, and Kapala, Uganda, and in the metaverse. The truth of the matter is we need your help. We need more people. My goal is to raise north of $5 million by the end of May so that we can accomplish this goal um, of funding our, our communities. Now, you may have heard me just say, you know, about $5 million. How on earth can we get to uh, north of $5 million by this May, by May 31st, 2024? Well, in 2021, a group of people were on a text thread. And one of the people on that text call worked at Sotheby's, the auction house in New York. And she said to them, guys, guess what? A copy of the constitution is up for auction. Wouldn't it be funny if somebody got me that for Christmas? Ha ha he he, big joke. Someone else on that text thread said, hmm, exactly how much is it going for? <laughs> and so she told him. And he said, you know, I wonder if we can pull together our cryptocurrency in order to make that happen. So he hopped on a Zoom call or a Discord call and half of the people there were, you know, there to have fun and make jokes about it. And the other half were very serious. Well, the serious side went out and um, they began uh, creating memes around the constitution and it being up for auction and them trying to go and buy it. And would you know, within four days, they raised over $45 million in crypto. Mm -hmm. Now, funny thing, um, the nature of blockchain and cryptocurrencies is that um, your wallet address is public. So people can see how much you have in there. And so that's the kind of the one thing you don't want when you go into an auction <laughs> is to let the other person know exactly how much money you have. So even though they had more than enough in order to purchase um, the constitution, the version of the constitution, that other person said, oh, I see that you have 45 million. I'm going to raise it 45.1. And that other person was able to outbid them. But what I heard is that if they can do that, then we can do this. Now, I might not know the same exact people that they knew in order to pull that off in four days. So I gave myself a little bit more time. I actually started this process back in January. Yeah. And then the token will be live on in May. And then our goal is within four weeks to raise between 25 to $25 million. Um, yeah. So when I hear this, it helps me to believe for that. So that's what's possible. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's the goal. Now, there's two ways that you can join the Genii DAO. You can join as partners or as members. So what happens if you were to join as a member? Well, if you join as a member, you'll receive funding, you know, with the BME token. You could use our church exemption if that applies. We have a partnership with a church called the Faith Community. And um, if church exemption would make a difference for you in your state, like if you're in Maryland or Pennsylvania, I know it'll make a difference, then you're welcome to use that. Um, we are a 501c3, so we can offer you the fiscal sponsor sponsorship if that would matter for you. Um, I offer founder leadership coaching um, if that could help you in leading your community. 
um, and then finding new families. Of course, there's marketing because in all of those post things that we do, your name, the name of your school is going to be all over it, right? Um, you get to use the Genie app that we created. We created the Genie app in order to document learning. Let me say this about the app. The Genie app's ultimate goal is to create regenerative funding for our schools. So the app currently right now allows you to take a picture or video of whatever it is that you're doing, and it allows you to add in a narrative description. I am adding AI to translate that into school language. Um, right now, you can tabulate the amount of time you spend on something in order to calculate your credits. Um, and then you can make that visible to an evaluator. You can also document if the activity was a five pillar invitation or not. Our goal is to tokenize that experience. We ask families, you know, what matters most to you in the Genie app? What do you want to see? And family said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, do the translation. We understand that we need that. You know, if my kid either goes back into school or if I live in a state where there's regulation and evaluation, or if my kid graduates and wants to go to college, we get that. But what parents said they really want the most is that those five pillar invitations. They said, we really wanna put some emphasis and value on that. So guess what we decided to do? Your learner will receive BMEs for every five pillar invitation that they engage in. Yes, they're gonna receive BMEs for the academic stuff, but the BMEs that they do when they're doing who they are and what they love to do, when they're taking care of themselves, when they're serving others, when they're learning about their community and learning how to be sustainable, they will receive even more BMEs for that. And that is a utility that the community created, okay? So if you become a member, um, then you'll get use of the app and you'll get use of that upgraded portion of the app. Right now it doesn't have that. That's what we're gonna build once we raise these funds. You'll also get a space in our DNI DAO community on Mighty. Um, if you're familiar with Mighty Networks, it's a closed social media platform. You can have your own space where you can have your events tab, uh, where that could be a communication hub for you and your families if you don't already have one. Your learners will be invited to join us in the Genii verse if they would like that. And of course, we offer coaching for your families. So the membership fee is around $100 USD. In cryptocurrency, it is about 0 0.05 Ethereum or 0 0.5 Solana. These are two different cryptocurrencies and we can accept them both, okay? So, and they equal around $100, all right? Now, you might say, I don't need all of that. You know, I already am a 501c3. I don't need your church exemption because in my state, it doesn't matter. I don't need that. Um, I don't need a space on Mighty Networks because we already have our communication hub somewhere. I don't need that. And that's fine. So if you don't need that, then perhaps for you, receiving funding from BME Token is really the only thing that you would need. In that case, you would join us as a partner. So as a partner, what will you get? Well, you'll receive the funding. You also receive the school marketing. You can use the Genie app on this side of what it is right now, and then coaching for your parents. What I forgot to add here is that your learners will be welcome to join us in the metaverse. Now, if you can't tell by now, I love to have a lot of fun, right? That is who I am. I am the possibility of fun, of FAFO, I'll explain what that is in a minute, and of connection and being whole and complete. Those are the things that make up who I am. So consider this your personal invitation from me, Karima Akila, the founder of the Genii DAO, to join us. I'll be crystal clear. It's going to take more people in order for us to pull this off because the game is won through community engagement and marketing. So join the Genii Dial community. Let's do this. Let's grow together. Let's go. Let's play. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Let's have some fun appreciating, celebrating, and elevating your lifestyle, what we're already doing now. Let's make some more t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Make that Stanley Cup. <laughs> Let's let Beamy Stuffy travel to you. Uh-huh. Uh, let's nominate, you know, some amazing people that could really 
helped to catapult what it is that we're doing with the Beanie Golden Beanie Awards. And the, the more we have fun and the more we share with others the fun that we're having, the greater we increase the opportunity for our BME token. Okay, so my question to you, my final question to you is what inspires you with the BME movement? What do you now see possible? So even if you choose that this is not for you, that this is that you don't wanna become a part of the DAO, I'm still curious to know, do you see anything here with what we're creating with the BME movement that inspires you? Do you see a new possibility that can open up with, um, with cryptocurrency and with what we're doing, the games that we're here to play with Beamy Stuffy? So drop me a note, either an email or if you're part of the Mighty, uh, our Genie Idol community on Mighty, message me there or hit me back on this social media platform that I messaged you on originally. Again, my name is Karima Akila. Now, before I go, let me tell you what this model means, FAFO. FAFO is my personal, <laughs> my personal model. To me, FAFO, this really means adult play. FAFO, I'll give you the PG-13 version. It means F around and find out. Now, what do I mean when I say that? I mean, we're going to take a lesson from our children, the ones who do it best. Our children, especially the younger ones, they play like it's real. They play like, I mean, the floor is lava, right? <laughs> when my kids were little and they were playing that, I found myself jumping off the carpet, you know what I'm saying? Trying to find a pillow cushion to step on. <laughs> but what that affords children to do when they really do take on the full entire distinction of play is allows for new pathways and imagination to open up in their minds. It allows them to be unstopped. It allows them to be off the chain. It allows them to be unleashed in what they see possible. It really is the basis for innovation. It is the basis for creation. And that is our model here in the Genie I DAO. Yeah, we're, we are not experts in crypto. And if anyone tells you that they are, they're lying <laughs> because no one is. We are all innovating and scaling upon what's possible. So if you found alignment with micro school, self-directed learning, founders and families being whole and complete and funded, then my invitation is for you to come on over here inside the Genii DAO, either as a partner or a member and have some fun with us, celebrating, appreciating and elevating the freedom and the authenticity that we have in our unschooling lifestyle. It really has been my pleasure to offer and introduce our BME token and our BME movement to you. And I do hope to see you inside of the Genie I Gal. 